all right so let's begin with equation a and equation b but before that let's read the equation a particles a b and c of masses 4 m 3 m and m respectively lie at rest in a straight line on a smooth horizontal plane with b between a and c particle a and b are projected towards each other with speeds u meters per second and v meters per second respectively and collide directly as a result of the collision a is brought to rest and b rebounds with a speed of kv meters per second given that the coefficient of restitution between a and b is three quarter a show that u is equal to 3v and b find the value of the constant k so first of all we need to indicate the position of of the particles so since they said that we have three particles and the particle b is between the particle a and the particle c then perfectly this is how they are going to look like but for the first part of the problem we are concerned we are we are concerned with the collision between the particles a and the particle b all right so we need to draw what happens so before impact we have a and we have b a is projected towards b with a speed of u and b is also projected towards a with a speed of v now after impact we have a it is brought to rest we have b as well the final velocity of a is zero because it is brought to rest but b is actually rebounding which means that its direction changes and it has a final velocity of kv now how do i show that u is equal to 3v first of all we need to apply the principle of conservation of linear of linear momentum it says that the initial momentum of a system is equal to the final momentum of the system and momentum is a mass times the velocity so the initial momentum of the system we need to take the initial momentum of the particles in the system and we sum them up we do the same thing for the final momentum okay so with that said the momentum of the initial momentum of the particle a is a mass of a times its initial velocity the initial momentum of particle b is a mass of b times its initial velocity the negative sign here is because b was moving in the opposite direction all right remember that velocity has both magnitude and direction so this negative sign means it was moving in the opposite direction okay now the final velocity of a okay is zero so the final momentum will also be zero because we need to take the mass times the final velocity but the final velocity the final momentum of b will be the mass of b times its final velocity now since it is rebounding then the going to the right the velocity is going to be positive that's why we just we we never indicated any negative sign again because the equation said that the particle b actually rebounds which means that it changes its direction okay now from here the masses can cancel out and we have 4u minus 3v to be equal to 3kv we can call that equation one now another important um, law we have to apply is the newton's law of restitution it says that the coefficient of restitution between the spheres is equal to the difference between their velocities of separation divided by the difference between their velocities of approach separation means the final velocities approach means the initial velocities if you have taken this topic before then you're perfectly going to understand this formula all right so from here you realize that va is equal to zero vb is equal to kv ua is equal to small u while ub is equal to negative v because it was moving in the opposite direction so all we need to do is substitution but the coefficient of restriction was 3 divided by 4 so 3 on 4 is equal to kv on u minus negative u again the negative sign here indicates that b was moving in the opposite direction okay so from here you realize that u minus negative v is u plus v so we just have to cross multiply with the three with with the with the denominators all right so four meets kv y i'm going to take three times u to have three u the two negative signs gives you a positive sign and we take three times v we have three v so this is equation two 
Now we need to use these two equations and perform gymnastics to prove that u is 3v and eventually find the value of k. Alright, so to prove that u is 3v, I will start by eliminating k. That's the first objective. Alright, so how do I eliminate k? I just need to add the two equations. Once I add the two equations, um, though I'm not going to eliminate k, but it's going to help me. Alright, if I add the two equations, I'm going to have 4u plus 3u will give me 7u. Negative 3v plus 3v will give me 0. And 7u will be equal to we will be equal to 7 kV and from there you have that u is equal to kV we call this equation 3 now we need to eliminate k all right and to eliminate k we can maybe kind of remember that equation 1 is having kV so just replace the kV in equation 1 with u because we have seen that u is equal to kV so replacing equation 3 in equation 1 we kind of have 4u minus 3v to be equal to 3u we have replaced the kV we have replaced we have replaced kv in equation one with u all right so from here you realize that if you bring like them together the proof is out u is equal to 3v and finally we now need to use the fact that u is 3v and find the value of the constant k so if u is equal to 3v we can also replace u equal to 3v back to equation 3 and equation 3 we are going to have 3v is equal to 3k. 3, um, 3v is equal to kv because u is equal to 3v. The v's can cancel because v cannot be 0, alright? And, and then we basically have k to be equal to 3. So we have found the value of k. Okay, finally we need to show that there is no further collision. Alright, so to show this, we need to compare the velocities of a b and c after the final impact remember that a was brought to rest so the final velocity of a was zero now we are going to find the final velocity of b after it collided with c and we also find the final velocity of c after it collided with b you realize that since a was brought to rest then definitely it will never move again now let us look at b if the final velocity of b is less than the final velocity of c it therefore means that c will be moving faster than b all right and b will never catch c so there will be no further collision so let's just do that and see if it, if this methodology is going to work all right so remember that um, there was another collision between b and c so it said immediately after collision between a and b Particle C is now projected with speed 2v towards B so that B and C subsequently collide directly. Given further that the coefficient of resistance between B and C is one third, show that there is no further collision. So we are going to analyze collision between B and C. We have before impact, we have B. Now, we have B was actually moving with a certain velocity and this velocity is the final velocity it acquired when it collided with a and that final that final velocity was kv now on the on the other hand the particle c was projected was projected towards b all right projected towards b with a velocity of 2v now after impact we have the velocity we have the particle b and the particle c the particle b will acquire a final velocity of vb while the particle c will acquire a final velocity of vc we are still going to use the two laws we used earlier. The principle of conservation of linear momentum, which says that momentum before collision is equal to the momentum after collision. Initially, we have this is the momentum of, of, of B, that's the initial. We have the mass times its initial velocity. We already found that K was equal to 3. So in the place of K, I replace it with 3. Now, for C, we have the mass, the initial velocity, is negative 2v remember the negative sign indicates that it was moving in the opposite direction now for the final velocities we have already represented them so um, again the masses can cancel and then we have a simple equation now we also need to apply the newton's law of restitution where we have this for the coefficient of of restitution between the spheres all right and we just have to apply that and we have the second equation so the objective is to get vb and vc 
So if we start by adding the two equations, we are going to have on the left 12V and on the right 4VC. So we have VC as 3V. Now we can use equation 1 to find VB. So we just need to replace VC with 3V. So from equation 1, our 3VB is, is 7V minus VC. So if I replace VC with 3V and I simplify, I'm going to get VB to be 4V on 3. It is clear that um, the velocity of A, which is 0, that's after impact with B, is less than the velocity of B after impact. The velocity of, v, of, of B after impact is 4V divided by 3. That is kind of 1.33V, um, all right? And all, all of that is also less than the velocity of C after impact because the velocity of C after impact is 3V. So you see that that methodology will work. So since the velocity of B after impact is less than the velocity of C after impact, it means that the particle C will be moving faster than the particle B as well as the particle B and C will be moving faster than the particle A. In fact, the particle A will not move again because it was brought to rest. And because of this fact, we can clearly conclude that there will be no further collision. So we are done with the equation. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did that, make sure you check out the other videos on this channel concerning the Southwest Regional Mock. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like the video, you comment, and you also share the video with your friends. See you guys in the next video.